Is it possible to make $2,000 selling a completely AI generated website? In this video, we are going to find out. My friend Ahmed, who I grew up with since birth, runs a six figure perfume business, and they say e com is dead. His website is not bad, but it's missing modern styling, vibrant colors, and interactivity. So we are going to build a website that looks much better than his current one and try to sell it to him. He currently has no idea that we are doing this. Now I know how to code, so I could probably make a nice looking website from scratch, but why would I do that in the age of AI? I mean, let's work smarter, not harder, right? And I've used tools like Lovable, Bow, and others to create apps, landing pages, and automations, but I've learned that there's a new tool that might dethrone all other tools. Introducing today's sponsor, Kimmy, an AI chatbot that's developed by Musha AI that's used by over 90 million users worldwide. It's a free alternative to ChatGPT. It has this OK computer mode that I've been playing around with that does deep search, image generation, and builds like Lovable. The reason why I'm using this tool over others is because of the many websites and apps that I've seen people create with it. So on Kimmy's website, you can go to the bottom and you can see these various examples that people have created. And there's many more, but let's look at this one, right? This is a really cool crunch comics style landing page. Um, it's about chicken, which is like so random, but it's very cool to look at, right? It's very eye peeling. This nice little app that someone made right here is uh, like a betting app almost, but for like startups, right? YC is a famous uh, startup incubator. So starting bank hunt down draw difficulty, say normal and game mode times. You read the pitch, analyze, anonymize, startup pitches, invest this much. Get your Okay, let's go start the game. All right, let's look at this. The pitch, the human microbiome holds secret health and disease, but we lack large scale data. Uh, um, pass. We're building drones offer that lets companies inspect equipment safely and efficiently. Our platform works for any drone hardware. I like this. Um, that's the 10%. Ah! Oh. We didn't make it. I lost ten thousand dollars just like that. Enterprise to inspect infrastructures, but traditional methods are expensive. Range for building drone software. That's company. Okay, no pass. No more. No more drone software. I actually like this a lot because I personally need good home cleaners. So I'm gonna invest ten percent of this. This is gonna be filled too. Oh my god! I guess I can never be an investor. Um, largest one, marquee risk, complex source delivery. No, we don't like complex source delivery. This is another cool little app, mate. Polaroid table. What on earth is going on? Wow, I uh, see like the possibilities are endless. This is, I don't even know what's going on here, but it looks sick. Okay, so with all that being said, let's look at my friend's website. So this is my friend's current website. Again, it's this classic Shopify website, right? And it's pretty cool. I like the color scheme that they got, he got going on. His best sellers right here. Fragrances for him, fragrances for her. And then, yeah. So this, I feel like there's a lot of space that's used for nothing really. Um, so this is a classic Shopify website that can be made better. Most Shopify websites are pretty out of date, in my opinion. Um, so we need to make this a bit cooler and more inviting. So again, we're not doing this ourselves. We're using Kimmy for this. Now let's get to building. Okay, so to analyze my friend's website, what I did was I gave the website to Kimmy and I talked about what it was, a Shopify style website. And I'm saying things that need to be added, like interactive components uh, to increase the website session uh, time per user, right? And talk about how the styling is outdated, how it's so traditional, how we need to use modern styling. I gave the hex color. To get a website's hex color, just simply highlight any part, inspect element, click the element right here. So this bar right here and go to the, uh, the RGB value and then you get the hex right there. Okay, use that main color and then use white as the secondary color. Let me add that. So write a prompt feed to Kimmy's OK computer to give it a breakdown once we're done. So we're gonna ask Kimmy to write a prompt to then give to its AI agent that will actually create the website for us. But this is a really good tactic to use, which is using the AI tool to write a prompt to give it to itself because it always will create prompts that are most optimized for itself. 
So we can go ahead and press enter. Wow, well, this is a really nice prompt that I gave it. So let's copy that. And now what we can do is we can click this tool and we copy that. We do a new chat. We do OK computer. This is my friend's website. Before that, I was pasting the prompt. Oh, oh, <laughs> here we go. The website's already there. Cool. Take out that quote and take out that quote. And, and yeah, this is a very nice prompt. And then we just press enter. And OK Computer is working. So this is the AI agent that Kimmy offers and we're gonna let it do its magic and we'll see what the result is. So it's giving us a breakdown, checking my current task list and then begin the conference of plan development process. So we can actually see its to-do list. Okay, so this is to-do list as requirements, research luxury perfume brands, join hero image job main landing page. I'd even tell it to do that, but that's a great idea. Having like, that's a really trendy way to show off things, right? Have like reels and Instagram grids. This is a nice to-do list that it has. All right, it has a to-do, it's well-written. Now let's see it actually accomplish the tasks. Nice. All right, I'm curious to see what it cooks up with. While Kimmy is doing his magic, I want to let you guys know that you do not have to create a perfect website when showing it to the client. You can show the beginning slash middle stages of it developed. As long as it looks good, has some sort of functionality to it, you can present it to a client like a video demo or even a live walkthrough. I prefer video demos because live walkthroughs, anything can go wrong. The client will see it. If they like it, at that point, you can ask them for a starter payment of let's say 20 to 30% of the total cost that you're gonna you know, give to the client. This way, you're not gonna build an entire website for absolutely nothing. You can build a nice mock-up, send to the client, get some cash to begin work, the official work, and once the website is done, you can get full pay from the client, and that's the best way to lock them in. So this website that we're gonna end up creating is not gonna be the final version, but it's gonna be a really good version that should ideally wow the client. Who's also my friend, so this is us. He's gonna tell all my other friends that, boy, this guy, Ritesh, can't use AI properly. I'm gonna be hit with the AI scammer comment by my own friends. All right, so we're checking with Kimmy. We see that task progress is six of 13. So there are still seven more things it needs to do. Um, see, it's been generating some images, creating an outline, creating the main HTML page, the main JavaScript file. So now it's creating a perfume quiz page with 3D particle effects. This is gonna be pretty solid. All right, it looks like it has fully completed everything. Task progress 13 of 13. So Kimmy has finished the website. You see a little preview right here. This already looks amazing, but I don't want to spoil it. I want to look right here. Let's, let's uh, open a new tab, X that out, and see the final website. Wow, what a beautiful high res image. Find your Sun Explorer collection. Okay, nice. These little, little tidbits right here. Find your perfect fragrance. Has a nice interactive quiz, has example products. And you can add to cart. Look at that. Love Apple add to cart. Fragrances for him. Nice. Fragrances for her. Nice picture too. Motif is our Arabian perfumery. 2019 established. Um, this is a pretty solid site if you ask me. This is a really good website. Has I think the cursor is a little messed up though. Like should be like deleting it up to here. But that's fine. We can always make those changes. Uh, let's check the quiz out. A strong, long lasting. Art spicy. Seasonal wear. I'm bold and confident. Summer. Premium quality. Nice, then it recommends some cool matches. A suit, okay, add to cart. So you can add that roughly from the cart, it's amazing. Take quiz again, okay. Let's do explore collection. And we see all the products right here. Some example discounts, got filtering. Nice. Got the filtering, take that out. Reviews, <laughs> fake reviews for now, right? So we have real reviews. This is super cool though. This is super cool. And see, uh, this is enough to where we compare like the original site. Uh, this is a pretty cool original site. It's not bad at all, right? But when you look at this one, it's way more modern styling, more vibrant. It definitely looks a lot 
better. I think maybe we can put some of the products right here because this has air fresheners as well, but I don't think we, we added that. But we can show him this as like the first version and see if this is enough to convince him to pay us for the rest, right? And we can make it like so much better. You know, we can add more, tell Kimmy to do more changes and maybe add some, a section for perfumes and roll on perfumes, our air fresheners here, I uh, make the best sellers, right? And a lot of these images are placeholder images. So we can have like the real images and, you know, really makes a full on project, but this is how you can build a really nice mock-up and try to sell it to someone. So now the hard part is going to be actually selling it and seeing if he bites on it. So let's see next. I texted my friend at 10 a.m. on this past Friday, it's Monday today, if we could do a call, which he replied he could to, and it's now Monday. Now, it's not, it's not his finalized day, so this is like the MVP version. So I'm gonna add stuff to it, and just let me know all the inputs that you got, right? And he like, the, hey, fix this, do this, change this, whatever. So we're starting with this. This is a banner. This is like the hero banner. Anything you want to add or subtract? I really like that. I mean, different things does it have discovering that unique identity discover, like one personal? yeah uh unique, unique identity personal style i think it's four and what's gonna happen is this cursor is actually gonna move with the letter yeah that is right I mean. okay and then just like regular like just some um, elements of what's being offered um and then also because i just launched the store i'm gonna want to also promote that on the website somehow yeah okay that makes sense then so this is like a quiz essentially so this is like an interactive component so let's say start quiz um moderate balance so, and this is like a, a mock-up but what actually happened is it would just be looking at all your um yeah all your perfumes they would just judge based off what the person has said like it'll probably tag so what i would do is i would tag each perfume with a certain like is it winter is it uh for autumn or whatever right and then the price and then based on that, then you click next, and then just show the perfect matches. Then like, so you can add directly to car from here. Oh, no pictures. Yeah, these are AI generated, right? Yeah. So um, these can be remade. If you have, I, I could I could get your outro products and use them as the images, or use AI to make to make your product images look that much nicer, or with, with a nice background or whatever. Is there any? Do you also do like? seo or ai seo stuff yeah i can yeah like aeo so basically having um it appear when someone searches on chat gpt and stuff that's right. great and then what does like a checkout process look like for us to live? uh it would be a general e-commerce like uh like the regular flow um it's not built out yet but like that's not like hard to add okay the final version will be there yeah that's pretty good i like it all right bet 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 so how much does this cost? Okay, so usually what I would say, um, most e-commerce websites can probably run around like the 2K to 5K range with everything included a tagging system and whatnot, but we can definitely do like a 2K for now. And that's considering everything that you want is added. Like like, like, the, like the the different, like the pricing, cheaper pricing here. Um, this cursor will actually work, right? It's like the final version. The actual e-commerce is built in to it as well. And um, yeah. What are your thoughts? I mean, that's so entirely than what I expected. You know, I was thinking more like a thousand, but I know it's like this will be better than other competitor websites. Mm -hmm. So I'd be willing to go up to like 1250. All right, I'm down to 1250. But what we can do, so I'll, I'll do the 1250 for just like the e-commerce like part of it, like this, what you're seeing right here. And then if you want like AEO and you also want like an AI chatbot, maybe that just has like a recommendation engine, right? Maybe then we can push to the 2K, 2.5, right? Depending on that. But we can knock out this part first. And then after that, we can reconvene on that. All right, let's do that. I right, bet. Say less. Sounds good. I'll send you the invoice later today. And yeah, man, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Sounds good. Now, see how I mentioned the upsells afterwards? Always talk about upsells after the client is pretty much sold. If you want to see me build and sell an AI app live, watch this video next.